I'm gonna show you what I have picked out so far. I have all of the photos here, so they are all ready to go. Can you see that top notification? Welcome to today's video. If you are new to this channel, hello, my name is Rachel and I run my own small business here in Auckland, New Zealand called Growing Green, where we sell houseplants and houseplant related supplies. And this is our YouTube channel. And on this channel, we make videos all about houseplants, houseplant care tips. We also make videos about all the accessories and stuff that we sell. And we also make behind the scenes vlogs. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I would love if you consider subscribing to the channel. And also if you do enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button at the end. So today's video, as you already know by the title, is that I'm going to take you behind the scenes on a plant drop for our website. Now I haven't done a plant drop in quite a few months. I think it's almost been even six months since I have done a house plant drop and there are a few reasons for that. For a start I have been super 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 busy with just the website. Uh, secondly I've kind of been going through a phase with plants where growing them for the shop has become more of a chore and less enjoyable. I was trying to like pump out plants in bulk for the site to actually have a drop every couple of weeks or so um, and it was taking the joy out of plants for me so I took a break from it for a while and we are back and I have kind of gotten into a swing of where I can propagate the plants that I love, still have fun with it and pop something up for the website as well. That is why this drop has been a long time coming but today we are going to get stuck into it. We are having a plant drop on the 31st of March so this video will be up after that plant drop so make sure to head to the website if you are kind of watching this sometime around then to see if there's anything left on the website and we are also going to be having a stock take sale on the same day um, because it is the end of the financial year for businesses and we obviously need to do a stock take so it's a good time to have a sale and get rid of as much stock as possible so we don't have to count all of it so yeah that is today's video let's just get straight on into it just really randomly before we start I wanted to show you some of the beautiful flowers we have going on in the greenhouse at the moment look at this Hoya Carnosa it is stunning it all opened last night and the greenhouse smells so amazing. We also have this Hoya Red Buttons flower, which has been open for two or three days now, I think. We have this massive Hoya Carnosa Compacta Bloom. And as you can see, obviously, there is another peduncle in front of it there. And there is another one up here on the left-hand side. And down here under the shelf, we also have two more Hoya Carnosa Blooms. I think this one is actually about to be done. So I'm going to show you what I have picked out so far. I actually already started picking plants the other day um, for a kind of day in my lifestyle video that I was doing and I will show you what I have got already and then I'm going to go around the greenhouse and pick some more and explain to you what I'm picking and why. Down here we have some little baby philodendron pink princesses. These are actually ones that I grew on from tissue culture. Same with these philodendron ring of fire and they're from these ones over here which I actually did make an entire video about so make sure to go and check that out up there if you haven't checked out that video before. So some of those are going to be going on at line. So we have the pink princess, the ring of fire and I actually repotted these a few days ago so they will have been repotted for about two weeks before I sell them which is kind of like my minimum I don't like sending plants when they haven't been repotted for at least two weeks because then they just die in the post and when they get to the house that they're going to they don't do that well either so I like to make sure that they're well acclimatized to the new pots before I send them off and then I have one Hoya fishtail a couple of trellised Hoya carnosa and then we also have a Croniana, an Edipensis, a Mini Bell, a couple of Philodendron Splendids, a couple of Melanochrysums, and that is basically what we are looking at so far. Another reason I do struggle quite a lot to put plants on the website is that we've had a lot of markets lately. So the Hamilton Plant Lovers Market, um, we've had the Auckland Plant Market, Ooh, I'm going to fall over, and we also have the Tauranga Plant Market coming up. Up as well and it's so hard to keep enough plants for these events and for the websites as well so what I normally do is I grow them for the markets and then I'll have an aftermarket sale. I've actually decided this year to not take any plants to the Tauranga Plant Fest. There is a few reasons for this. One I would like to obviously have a lot of plants for the online plant drop. A lot of my followers who come and see me at the markets have been very very spoiled recently as in they've had like full choice of products, full choice of plants um, so I really want to do something nice for those of you who follow me and can't come to markets to see us and grab anything so that's partially the reason why I want to keep as many plants as possible for the website drop and number two is that plant markets now when I first started them they were really really good for selling plants and my main focus at these markets was to sell plants ever since 
a lot of people started getting into propagating their own plans and a lot of people who aren't businesses or registered businesses as such started attending these markets to sell their own you know just their propagations they've been doing at home um the market has become very very oversaturated i don't know how to put it but um yeah that's just kind of how i feel plants have been going at plant markets recently so that's also why i am going to be putting a lot more plants online for this drop because we're not going to be saving any for the market so yeah let's go around the greenhouse one more time have a look at what else we're going to pop on the website and then take some pictures so I'm going to start here. I have two uh, 10 centimeter pots full of mandula pothos that I potted up about two weeks ago as well. Um, and they're looking really nice. They've kind of all bounced back and that means that they're going to be doing really well under the soil. So I'm going to add those two to the drop. I also have some anthurium and silver blush lift as well. This is all that I have left. I did have about 20 or so, but I took a lot of them to the markets. Um, so I'm going to be popping probably two to three of these online as well. So I think this one, that one, and that one over the back are looking pretty good. I think I might start with what I have already already on the floor put that up and see what it looks like because if it looks really good on the website then that is all I'll need to put up um, but if it looks like not enough then I will just add some more once I've put this lot online so let's start by taking some pictures it looks like a pretty good lineup from here though like there's a decent amount of plants here My husband actually put up the 3 by 3 meter gazebo over the spot where we take the pictures because um, it's been raining on and off all day and it just means that I can get all the photos done in one. It's a few days later now and as you just saw I took all of the photos of the plants that I had picked out and now I'm going to edit them and put them on the website so I'm going to show you how I do that. So as you can see I have all of the photos here and I'm going to go through them all, edit the ones that look good and then put them on their respective products on the website. So it's a little bit hard to show you this but I'm going to edit this photo here. This is of some melanochrysums. I just go edit up the top there and I'll normally like auto edit it so it will kind of like make it look a little bit different. Can you see that? It kind of just auto edits it like that and then once the auto edit is on I will just kind of see if it needs any more adjusting, go through, adjust any brightness or contrast or anything like that, saturation, blah blah blah. Um, and then once that is done, it will be all ready to go up on the website. I have typed in Melano in the search under my products category, and as you can see, I already have a product made for Philodendron Melano Chrysan because I have sold them before. So if I go into here, it will bring up all of the details for that product. So a description of the plant, whether it's pickup only or not, obviously the title, um, the deal with the plants, and then down the bottom here we have pictures, and that was the obviously the pictures I did of the last drop that we had in Melanochrysum. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these. Delete. So now I am back in the product. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to the photos and add files, and then just add in those photos. And wait for them to upload Ta -da! and then i'm going to obviously just move them around all i have to do is drag and drop them and just kind of lay them out really nice and i can actually preview it if i go up the top here and select preview Ta -da! it will actually pop up and i can see what the page is going to look like before it goes live so i can check that all the text is okay the photos are okay they're all the right size and color and etc so once all that is done i will schedule when the actual plant is going to go live which is our plant drop on friday so i will click on friday at 6 p.m so i schedule it so now it is going to go live on Friday at 6 p.m., which means I don't have to be sitting here for the launch to go live. Everything will just go live if I remember to do that. <laughs> and I don't actually have to do anything myself so I can just watch it happen or fix any issues that need to be fixed. It 
it is now Friday the 31st of March and the plant drop is happening in about 10 minutes time. I'm at my computer ready to go. I'm just waiting for the plants to drop and go live and I'm also watching obviously my socials, Instagram, Facebook, emails, etc, etc for um, any questions that come in during the launch. Less than a minute to go until the launch. We have 20 people on the website, 12 active carts and 3 checking out. When it hits 6 I will check that everything has gone on the website and then we wait and see what happens. Six o'clock, ah! Okay, check the website, check the website, check the website. Yes, okay, let me show you the website really quickly. So as you can see, plants have gone up. Yay! So they are all ready to go. Oh, 24 visitors, 25 visitors, 26 visitors. Oh, that's going up fast. 16 active carts, three checking out. So we're up to 35 visitors and it is two minutes in. There we go. Two minutes in, first order. It's nice, 36 visitors, so we're almost at 40 visitors, 37 visitors. <gasps> Here we go, we're up to 38 visitors. 39, another order. 17 active carts, 10 checking out to purchase. Okay, we're still at 43 visitors and we are four minutes in and we have 18 active carts and 11 checking out and two purchased. So, pretty good. Come on, focus, focus. There's another one. <laughs> um, so yeah, four purchased so far, 19 active carts, 13 checking out, five minutes in. So yeah, going well. If you couldn't tell, I'm excited. Hey, there we go. And another one. So that is order number eight. All right, so it has been about 20 minutes now and we have had so many orders. Um, and as you can hear, I'm getting messages galore. Our ring of fire plants sold out in less than four minutes. Um, and everyone is <laughs> fuming. So that's the number one thing I'm getting at the moment. ka -ching. there's another one. <laughs> so I was about to pack up and go inside and I just got a notification for another order. And holy crap, whoever this is, I freaking love you. Can you see that top notification? Can you see that? $457.70 in one order. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> if you watch my videos, unbelievable. I cannot believe this. That is how you take advantage of a sale right there. Oh, we got free shipping. That's good. There's nothing oversized in there, so that's really nice for him. I was so scared that this plant drop wasn't going to do well because we haven't had a plant drop in a long time and there's not actually that many plants up there. I get nervous. People can be mean, but... This has gone very well. I'm very, very happy. I just found a better way to show you guys the notifications that come through and what they look like. So when you get an order on Shopify, you obviously get that cha-ching and the little notification like you've seen a few times already. It's just been really hard to show you because they come and they go so quickly in the heat of the moment. Um, but this is what they look like. So you get obviously the order number, how many items they ordered and the value of it in a little like um, um, notification bubble there. So yeah, that's a much easier way to show you what they look like instead of trying to rush them through as they come in. That is all the orders. Good morning, guys. It is now the day after the plant drop and the sale has now finished. I'm shocked. <laughs> um, after I signed off last night, we still got a whole bunch more orders in and we ended up getting 40 seven orders in total between 6 p.m. last night and now, which is like, what, 1.30? almost two o'clock. And now I'm just gonna go through and start packing orders. Today is a pretty miserable old day. It's cold and it's raining. So I have nothing better to do than to pack orders. I've already done a lot of the pickups um, because I had people messaging me already early this morning like, can I pick it up today? So a lot of those are already done and picked up. I'm gonna start working on the orders that don't have any plants in them, obviously because I can't pack the plants till tomorrow. Um, and then yeah, tomorrow I'll come back and do some of the plant ones. So yeah, let's start packing some orders. Now that they are all printed off and I have this big wad of paper here, I'm going to go through the orders and separate them by plants and no plants. Um, so I can obviously get started on the ones that have no plants and have less to do tomorrow. Oh, 
I will show you what our packing slips look like printed off the website and then I will obviously show you how we pack orders. So this is what they look like from Shopify and as you can see all of the items that they have ordered, they've ordered some tree fern fibers, some houseplant mix, some growth technology stuff and some thickly poles. So this next order is that 550 odd dollar order I was giggling about last night. <laughs> It is now the next day and we have just finished off all of the orders that don't have plants in them so just all the accessories orders and we're going to be moving on to the ones that do have plants and again if you've never seen us pack plants before I'm going to show you exactly how I do that we have two philodendron ring of fire which are super super cute look at that I have some in tree fern fiber and some in spag moss and this lady ordered two of them so I'll show you how I wrap these up so to pack my plants what I use is a box of tissues and some of our plant labels so I can write on it what it is so they don't forget what they've purchased and that's about it so I will always start off by getting a piece of tissue paper and folding it up and then I tape it to the bottom of the plant so none of this substrate comes out and then I'll put another one on the other side and then I'll just put one piece of tape right around it because as you can see the, the <laughs> paper is sticking out a little bit so there you can see that the plant is all nicely wrapped and it's not going to come out of its pot in transit and then I'll take a quick look at the plant and see if any of its leaves need a little bit of a wipe down which it does so I will just give it a quick clean and then I will get a piece of cardboard there we go fill in a ring of fire and I'll put that in there with the plant and then I just roll it up then once it's all rolled up I will just tape it shut and there we go we have one well wrapped plant which you probably can just barely see in there <laughs> and then I'll do that with the other one and then we'll pack it they're all stacked on top of each other there one two three and obviously taped to the side of the box as well so they're not going anywhere these plants are on trellises but I pack them pretty much exactly the same I'll still put the cover on the bottom so the soil doesn't come out and then I'll wrap them in cardboard as well everyone it is now Monday and we are still packing orders we've got a few more coming overnight including this one behind me that hubby's currently working on and it is 200 hanging pots for a chinchilla rescue so they are growing herbs and all the different foods for them in our hanging pots so 200 pots off to a chinchilla rescue which is quite fun I know you guys don't see a lot of like those like random orders that we get like that um, but yeah this one's going to a chinchilla rescue That is the stock take and plant sale weekend finito. Every single order has gone out the door and is waiting for the courier to be picked up today. So yeah, 
I'm exhausted. We're now just going to restock the plant room of the shelves because they're looking very empty. And then we are going to, of course, get on to our financial year stock tax so of absolutely everything that we have. So thank you so much to those of you who did purchase something during the sale and plant drop. It did help out with our stock take a lot. So now we have far less to count, which is amazing. Um, and then we are obviously going to go and reorder everything that we need to reorder. I really hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes look at how the plant drop and the sale went. If you did enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure to give it a like and if you want to see more like this as well make sure to consider subscribing down below i really appreciate you stopping by to watch this video and if you made it all the way to the end kudos to you as well my next video on this channel is going to be all about the taronga plant market which i am so excited about it's in one week and six days from today so that will be my next video other than that thank you so much for your time and i will see you in my next video bye